Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hanging by the fire chairs, isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memory Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 5! So Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, so getting really excited about that. Um, it's also our anniversary today, so I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna go. Good morning, daily frost update, none today. We're good to go. Good morning and welcome to day five of Vlogmas. And this is one of the worst moments of leaving the house in the morning. It's when you have to say goodbye to these two beauties. I am so jealous of Willow right now. She looks so comfy. Oh, enjoy sleeping. And a little special mention for Socks as well. He looks so cute. This is what I mean about yesterday. They'll have their breakfast and they'll just run up to bed and get all snuggly. I'm so jealous. I've got to go to work, Socks, and you're snuggling away on this really warm blanket. So we have to put these blankets down because otherwise they'll get fluff everywhere. So this is your special blanket, isn't it, Socks? Oh. There you go. See you a bit later. Oh, stretch. Oh yes, taking a sneaky cookie to work. But I actually think that Luke had one this morning, so I'm gonna have one with my tea later on at work. Happy Thursday afternoon. So I'm just on my lunch break at the moment. It's about just gone half past two, I believe. Um, I've just been catching up on some of the YouTube comments, which is something I really, really genuinely love to do. So I mentioned over the last couple of days, they do pop up on our phones. So we get to see some of them whilst we're at work. Obviously we're at work, so we have to be making priorities. Um, but it's so lovely to see everybody commenting and um, just want to say a little shout out to those that have uh, suggested some solutions to the frosty windows in the morning, to the iced up windows. Um, really great suggestions. Some of them we've heard already, but some of them are like, hmm, that that's interesting. We need to try that. So thank you guys, because you're helping us with the morning commute. Um, so hopefully that's going to work even better than... Because we've bought like... Um, de-icer spray but it's not really working and it was from like i think the one we bought was from halfords and thought it would work quite well but maybe no it's just too cold so i'm currently at sainsbury's you might have noticed that i'm just outside the petrol station right now um i did a little post on twitter a little while ago today to let everyone know that me and luke are celebrating 10 years together today so 10 years ago today um we started our relationship and we've done so so much since 10 years ago and so i just want to say a big thank you to those that have commented on our post haven't had time to reply to the the tweets but i can see how lovely they are so thank you so much and because it's such a milestone i've said to luke that i can treat him to pizza tonight so I'm going to nip into Sainsbury's, get some pizza. There's one as a veggie pizza that he really, really loves. Um, so I'm going to get that for him today. I'm not sure what I'm going to get because I don't eat pizza. That's going to upset some of you. Um, <laughs> but I'm one of those strange people that don't eat pizza. Um, not I'm calling, if you don't eat pizza, I'm not calling you strange. But, you know, I, I get that comment often that mm, you don't eat pizza. Why? Um, and I can't answer that. So, yes, I'm waffling now. So I'm going to go and get some pizza for Luke. And, um, yes, catch up with you after work this evening. Now, I managed to find Orangina for Luke in Sainsbury's. This is one of those drinks that you don't often see, and I know he absolutely loves it, so he's going to be so chuffed when he sees this after work. I've officially beaten Luke home from work, so it's a race against time to get the dinner on. So, pizza. We've got pizza. We've got Hotel Scampi. <laughs> we've got chips, and we've got potato salad, and we've got beans, and we've got Orangina! <laughs> Clearly not all together. 
Um, so yeah, let's get the dinner on. One of my favourite moments from getting in after work is getting the Christmas lights on. I'm going to turn the lights out now. Oh, it's so cosy, but the house is so cold right now, so I need to get that heating on. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> You're on the vlog. Hello. <laughs> Where are you? I'm stuck in traffic. No, I want you home. I know, it's <laughs> slow moving. Okay, well, drive safe and I'll see you soon. Thank you. The worst moment is leaving the house in the morning. The best moment is when you get to see the kitties. Hello, you. Hi. Yeah, I missed you. Good evening, I'm back home now. Yay, Thursday done. Rich is here. One more day to the weekend. One more, well, <laughs> half a day, really, because we've got half day tomorrow. All day you've been going on about that. You've got half, more half a half day than I have. I have, yeah, I finished at half 11, mm. so excited. So, um, not a lot going on for us tonight. We've got a chilled evening at home. Mm -hmm. It's our anniversary. 10 years. 10 years yeah. since we met. So, uh, obviously, the marriage one in March time and this one now. So we are going to have a chilled evening. I think we should watch a Christmas film. Yes, I think it's appropriate. And I was telling everyone earlier that I got you your favourite pizza. Yes, <laughs> I'm very happy about that. that. I love pizza. We didn't know that I love pizza. Rich doesn't love pizza at but all. But specifically, the Sainsbury's veggie pizza is kind it's of really like your favourite. Yeah. Yeah, like as a closeness to like Domino's, it's really close to Domino's, but like way cheaper yeah um, and then today I had we have a competition at work with Christmas trees so I've been working on building Christmas trees today it's been good constructive fun. day today then. <laughs> busy day <laughs> busy day <laughs> so all going well and we're just gonna put our we got our Ghirardelli yesterday and we're gonna put it in our container now because we have last yeah. um, year when we went to Florida Christmas we got this from the Ghirardelli store in Disney Spring and we're now gonna fill it up with what it should be filled up with. Have been bark, yeah, we've had like <laughs> random biscuits in there. And obviously we also got Rich's gingerbread house yesterday, which you're gonna build earlier this year, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, coming soon to a vlogmas near you. So we can enjoy it more. We always leave it to like Christmas Eve and it's not enough. It's not gonna happen this year. So let's pour these in. So many. So that's good news, you get a lot in here. A lot of, a lot of you guys have asked about the Costco ones. So there's actually way more. The bag is actually one and a half pounds. Down there. And it comes with the dark and the normal. I know which one I'll be eating. The normal. Yeah. So we'll have to put some back in here, but we like to have one of these every night. Yeah. A nice bit of Ghirardelli and a cup of tea. If you haven't tried Ghirardelli chocolate, Cup of tea. Oh, that reminds me, I need to try last yesterday's tea from the advent calendar. Just doing some laundry. We love these unstoppables. You put them in the wash and they're so nice. Then we use the Comfort Creations um, strawberry and lily. It's so nice. So get some washing. I can't remember if I mentioned on the last vlog, so I must have cooked baked beans then, but I am very particular about how I cook my beans. So. A lot of people are quite happy with their baked beans really runny. I have to have them literally like mushy peas. <laughs> Which is, I think, is quite unique. Although, let me know in the comments if you're the same. Like, baked beans, uh, have they got to be runny? Have they got to be well done? It's team well done all the way for me. I'm quite shocked this hasn't come out yet. <laughs> so tonight for dinner, I'm definitely, because it's like chips and scampi, I'm definitely going to mix it up with some Hawaiian Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It's got to be done. So we've had dinner, just chilling now, aren't we? Yeah. And we're watching some of our favourite like YouTube festive videos. So one of them is the WestJet, like mini Christmas celebration, where West they. The yeah. How nice show. is it looking here with the Christmas tree? But on this one, and sorry if you can hear the washing machine because it's going. <laughs> a choo choo train. So. Oh, oh, a classic. Like on this video. Everyone gets on a flight, and then before they get on a the flight, there's like a screen that everyone asks Santa what they want for Christmas. Yeah, they scan their boarding pass. Yeah, and then obviously they go and buy the presents, and at the end they get the presents, and it's so festive. So we love this. West Jetters took notes and are ready to shop. And then they go and get all the items from the shop. It's so good. To get all those presents, not a moment to spare. So now they've all arrived, and this video is called WestJet Christmas Miracle. And they all start getting their presents. It snows. It makes me really tearful. I love it. It's 
so cute. Here they come. <laughs> Yay! Oh, people start crying and it's oh, so sweet. Yeah, this is so festive. We were watching it with Kelly last night and we watched it again. So yeah, that's one of our favourite little videos of like Christmas festiveness. Because it's just so cute. And so check that out. TV. TV. So watching one of our favourite Tori Kelly videos because it's oh, yeah. it's funny because um, Reese Witherspoon introduces it and Reese Witherspoon sounds like um, Elle Woods Elle on Legally Woods. Blonde. <laughs> she goes. Let's keep the party going. <laughs> but this is a really good version of it. Tori oh, Kelly. Yeah. How good was that? So good. I always watch the Neil Patrick Harris opening Christmas parade. And they all come down. I love this video, don't we? Here they go. Look at Minnie. We've got into a YouTube tunnel where we're off watching all the festive videos, but it's really fun. So I think we're going to watch a film in a minute. We haven't decided which one yet. Nope. And then we're going to do advent calendars. So, and make some tea. tea. So yeah. we're going to go with Love Actually tonight, aren't we? We are. So such a good classic Christmas film, feel good film. Yeah. And we've also got to watch The Apprentice, which we're going to watch. I think we might watch The Apprentice first. We're, we're staying, we've been staying off social media, so we don't know who's gone. <laughs> Yeah, so we love watching The Apprentice, don't we? Yeah. It's always drama. <laughs> so we're going to um, watch The Apprentice first, I think. Yeah. And then watch the Christmas film. And the socks, it's just here. He's going to join us. Hello. What is it with So me? I was just up in one of our rooms upstairs and I thought I'd show you some of the things we've got just on our windowsill, which is kind of cute. Uh, well, not kind of cute, they're aliens after all. So we've got this cute alien Toy Story, like, wind-up um, jingle so the aliens all go round and the spaceship goes round. This was actually from Clinton's, I believe, but Luke got it for my birthday, um, which is super cute. And we've got this alien money box, it's got a little chip, little casualty at the bottom there. I'm not sure how that happened, but we should really get that repaired. But we've got some um, just some loose change in the little ceramic alien. We've also got this cute some some baby. Uh, baby Simpson carrier here, the rocket ship, which is really cute, They're really soft. Um, and also, we have this is such a good saying less work, more Disney, which is so true. Uh, this was from Typo, I believe, uh, but we like to have this on show because it is so true. We've also got this map on one of our walls, and what we do is we place these um, magnets um, on the board to say where we've been so we've got like the flags and the little pins um it's not in every country that we've been we need to update this uh, and we also need to buy more of these uh, but this just goes on the wall we've also got some pens here so we can mark on the map where we've been and where we want to go and trust us the list of all the places we want to go is so long this is the jingle that i was telling you about oh this could put me to sleep. This is so soothing. Look at those cute little aliens. I just want to say how much I'm loving the uh, this blanket, the Disney one. I know we keep going on about them, but if you can get to Primark and get one, they are like the nicest and they're so nice because it's really cold. And um, I feel like everyone at work is sick at the minute. So I've been trying to dodge everyone. Anti-back, oh, anti-back loads anyway, but you know, you're just trying to dodge people. Anti-back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's advent calendar time. So you've got to give the answers to yesterday's. Yes. Do you know the answers? Cut here. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, this one's a bit harder. We, and the, it was the um I just Ursula want to make sure one. I pronounce it correctly. It's time. So let's get number four. Do you want to do the answer now? Yeah, I'm just going to read out the question okay. again. So the Let question me help you was, with the camera. What were the names of Ursula's two pet eels? So it's great to see everybody, and I love doing this. I don't know if you guys are enjoying it, but a lot of you are taking part, and it's so much fun. And, like, I didn't know the answer to this. No. So, so the answer is 
Flotsam and Jetsam. Flotsam and Jetsam. So that's yes. some Disney trivia we didn't necessarily know. No. So we're learning as well. <laughs> So also, 5th of December would have been Walt Disney's birthday today. Yes, it's a very special day today. Yeah. I think it would have been 118. That's right. Yeah, wouldn't it be amazing if we'd met him? Yeah. Like, same wow. As, <laughs> same as our anniversary, so. Yeah. So here we go. Number five, day five, the quiz. What flavour is Jane's Medicine in Mary Poppins? This one's, I feel like this one's a little bit easier than yesterday. I don't actually know this one. Really? So what flavour is Jane's Medicine in Mary Poppins? I personally think it's a little bit easier than yesterday. You don't know the answer. Do you know I, the answer? Comment below. Well, Mary Poppins... <laughs> for me, Mary Poppins is not one of my favourite films. I love Mary Poppins. Like, it's okay, but I actually prefer Saving Mr Banks than Mary Poppins. Actually, Saving Mr Banks does hold a special place in my heart, but I feel like Mary Poppins is like an old friend, like when you watch it you feel very warm inside. And yeah, it's a classic. It's, it it's not that I like it, but it's just not my favourite. So we're going to be having to take this with us on, I don't know if we're going to take all the advent calendars away with us, because we're away at the weekend. So yes. I don't know if we'll take these, but I like the Disney trivia, keep it going. So I think we'll take this with us. We'll take, we're going to take this one because the trivia is going to keep going. I'll leave the other going. ones here. So next, you can do the Mickey Bauble one because it's your turn. Mickey Bauble. Is it my turn? Yeah. Wait, so day five. Day five. Okay, day five. I am terrible at trying to find the day. The, I can um, see it. Where? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you are so mean. Oh. 35 minute challenge. Yes. Can Rich get into Stop it, you? <laughs> Oh, it matches uh, your top today. It does. Yeah, well, kind of. Kind of. A little bit lighter. A little bit lighter, yeah. So it's like a spotted blue one. Yes. So we'll be putting it on the tree. On the tree. Yeah, tea. Time for tea. Time for tea, yes. Right, let's do your tea one then. Okay, right. Dun, 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 tea, tea. Hope you guys have all been getting some really good stuff in your calendars. Yes. There are some amazing calendars this year. Number five. Okay. Oh, so let's put them all back in. You haven't, you didn't have yesterday's or today's. So you've got two teas I've to have. I've got two teas today. Organic, organic lemongrass, herbal tea with cinnamon, ginger, garcinia, hibiscus, and lemon. I feel like you should take one of them to work with you so you can catch up tomorrow. Yes, I, I'm not going to have two tonight, but I'm going to have one of them tonight. One of them will have tomorrow. I'll fill you guys in. Yeah. And then I'm going to look at. I guess what it's going to be? It's going to be <laughs> a candle. I think there's a lot of people getting involved with the number. The number. <laughs> I think the number's so like, is it the same number every time? I don't know. It smells nice. Uh, 429618. 429618. There we go. There we go. Today's number. <laughs> we will start burning some of these. <laughs> yeah. But I think it should have a label on what flavour it is because yes. you don't know what scent that is, number five. Yeah. And on the back, it obviously tells you um, that there's four scents. But it doesn't say which days are which, so you don't actually know what your favourite scent is. Do you know what? I feel compelled. This doesn't normally happen, but I feel compelled to like write an email to them and say, look, next year... <laughs> if they want, yeah, if they want the calendar to wax lyrical, if yeah. you want the calendar to work better, you need to let people know which scent's which so they can yeah. know which one they like, and then they'll buy it. Let us know your thoughts if you agree with us. But I feel Marketing like that, 101. Marketing 101, yeah. I feel like that would work better next year. There we go. Yeah. Let's make some tea. Let's go to the Disney choices. I've actually dug quite deep today. Because you have to rotate every now and then. Rich, you've picked the Disney Christmas mug. Yeah. Which I love that mug actually. Mickey and Minnie. Ah. And I've gone for the Flower and Garden Festival mug. One of and this one festivals. is 2019. We didn't go 2019. This was given to us by our lovely Disney friends, um, Emma and Daniel, and their cat Bob. So thank you guys. Thanks guys. Love this mug. And can't wait to go back to Flower and Garden again. Yes. Also, Kelly bought 48 of these yesterday from Costco. Um, and she left us a couple. So Go Kinder Eggs. And you get a little surprise inside. So there's like chocolate and then inside there's a gift. And I think these were banned in the US for a long time. Yeah. Due to the choke hazard. If you're watching from the US, maybe you know the answer to that. They're back there now, I believe. So I decided to go with day four. So I'm determined to keep it in order. So this one's going to be organic rose hip. Herbal tea with hibiscus, apple, licorice, not sure, <laughs> cinnamon and rose petals. I'll let you know. Number five in the morning tomorrow. So I'll do number five tomorrow, yeah. And also, we've got this really cute Christmas card from my grandparents. 
Oh. Who we're going to see at the weekend. And it's cats. Look at the cats with the hats. That's cats I love with the that. Hats. That's so cute. <laughs> Very glittery, but really cute. Okay, so verdict on. I'm calling this the licorice tea because the licorice is really coming through. It's very overpowering. Ew. It's probably. <laughs> It's just you. <laughs> I'm I'm saying this is my least favourite. Uh, Luke's maybe had the giggles now. Um, it's still drinkable, but it's my least favourite. So yeah, that's my verdict. So hopefully tomorrow is better. Please. So that's everything for today. Been a bit of a short vlog today, but um, some days are a bit shorter than others. Rich kindly got me an orangina. So thank you very much. I love that. Angina. Um, reminds me of school, French classes in school when we were younger. Yes. So tomorrow we're heading off on a little adventure. Yeah, in the UK. We'll keep it surprised as to where we're going. Yeah, we're going to pack up tonight. So we've got to pack all our stuff because we're literally going to be going straight from work. But you guys can follow along. Yes. And hopefully the Wi-Fi is good or we can get some sort of signal to upload. We will be dependent on the Wi-Fi so we can upload, yeah. But stay tuned on like Instagram or Twitter because we'll update you guys if the vlogs are delayed due to signal. There'll be some festiveness this weekend. Definitely. Yeah. There's maybe a Christmas market perhaps. So yeah, <laughs> really excited. So um, see you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>